Good morning, family. My name is Omomi Olu Agbemiga, and I'm going to be taking you through our team mental fitness training today on personal branding. So it's going to be for 15 minutes or less. So stick with me as we go through this topic. All right, so let me start with this quote from Jeff Bezos. Branding is what people say about you when you're not in the room. Jeff Bezos of Amazon, we know him. So let me continue. During the course of the training, you're going to understand what this quote means. All right, so what is personal branding? It is how you promote yourself. It is the unique combination of your gifts, talent, skills, passion, purpose, experience, and personality that you want the world to see. I noticed something that visibility is more important than ability. There are a lot of people that have potentials, but because people don't know them, they are just there and their potential is not being seen by the world. And so that's what personal branding does to you. It helps you to tell the world your story, helps you to showcase your gift, talent, skills, passion, purpose, experience, and personality, and what you want the world to see. The truth is people are actually watching you. But if you decide to build your own personal brand, it's just like you are taking the driver's seat and writing the narrative yourself and saying, okay, this is the narrative I want the world to see. But if you don't be conscious of, if you're not conscious of your personal brand, people will just have a perception about you. Personal branding is simply people's perception about you. All right, so moving on, what's the benefit of a personal brand? The first thing is you become top of mind. And I'm going to be giving us practical examples you become top of mind. Let me give you a practical scenario. So this is a practical example. In October 2017, Dr. Kiwumi Adeshino, some of, some of us know this man, the people in our gig department will know him, is a globally renowned economist and agricultural expert. So he was supposed to be given a Nobel Prize for agriculture in October 2017. And so the organizer, he himself is a personal brand on his own, but that's not where I'm getting to. I want to um, point out something. So the organizer sat down and said, okay, we want to give this man from Nigeria a prize. We would like to have someone, a musician, a female musician that will come and entertain and surprise him. And so they said, okay, we want someone that sings and infuses African culture in our music. I'm very sure to, you are thinking of two people in your mind. So they had two people in their mind. You know them, Yemi Alade and Omaomi. And so they called Omaomi to sing at this um, award. So that is what personal brand can do for you. You become top of mind. When they are thinking about something, you'll be, you, they will think about you. Oh, this is the person we should call for this. You differentiate yourself. Now, a practical example of, of someone in our, in our family, Adborn family. All right, so I was given the task to recruit graphic designers in-house. And so we sent out um, messages that people should apply. People sent their messages, people sent their application, and I got quite a number of people. It was overwhelming to, to an extent. So I said, send your portfolio to me. I started checking them. But then I was, I was, I was looking at, I, I wanted something more. And then this person, Mr. Jonathan, who is seated right here, was referred by someone. And immediately his portfolio was sent, his link was sent. I clicked and I saw this. Immediately I knew this was the person we wanted. And I said, okay. Please, we need to call this person, let him come for an interview, and now he's part of the Adborn family. Talk about personal branding. All right, so he differentiated himself. You attract opportunities, you grow your wealth, you are known as an expert in your field. That's what personal branding does to you. This man, some of us know him, is the CEO of Adebola Williams, CEO of Red Media. Anywhere he goes to, Adebola is always on red cap. <laughs> Promoting his brand, his company brand. He's a Nigerian media entrepreneur, journalist, political consultant, and his public speaker. And he has grown wealth by just building a personal brand for himself. If you go on Google and search Debola Williams, plenty of images that will come out will be him looking like this. Even when he's exercising, he's either on white or red. There's a touch of red because his business is red media. All right, moving on. Now, I've been talking about people. I think I need to talk about myself a bit since I've been one training, right? <laughs> All right, so let me take you, take you through my personal branding journey. So, many years ago, I started a business that people can buy and sell African-inspired pieces, African-inspired products. And I said, how do I then stand out in this field? So I created a personal brand for myself. I called myself the African girl. 
But the amazing man that I married now, when he came into my life in 2018, he said, no, you're not an African girl. <laughs> Make it lady, you're no longer a girl. So I changed it to that African lady. He designed this logo. And then so, in 2016, I now decided that I'm going to be taking personal, professional headshot at every of my birthdays. This is one step to building my personal brand. In 2016, I took this shirt. Fine, right? In 2017, I took this. I said, okay, now you're an African lady. Then you should put, portray it in what you wear. So I wore an African-inspired piece. I had something on my hand to portray that. In 2018, I took this picture. I, I kept doing that every year. And then I would change my social media profile to the same picture. And when people ask me when I'm going for a speaking engagement, I send them my head shirt. In 2019, I took this. 2020, now let me take, tell you something. So I started um, evolving. I started growing. That is why this started changing. Black, black and all. 2020, a new person was birthed from that African girl from that Af to that African lady and to something else that I'm going to talk, talk to you about. In 2021, this was the picture I took. And so I'm going to take another one. <laughs> and so, now, when I, when I moved from being that African lady, I thought about, people have known me to be that African lady. And so some of you say, that African lady, did it bring you anything? Yes, it did. I got um, radio um, interviews, TV interview. I got, there was one magazine, Startup Valley magazine from UK that also published and talked about me. Some brands um, interviewed me and all. So it helped me. And to, the, to an extent that when people think about having African product, they think about that African lady first. I had clients from Dubai, from different parts of the world. Yeah, this is to personal branding. Now, and I said, okay, now I've evolved. How do I then tell people my story of who I am now? Then, um, last March 1st, when we had International Women's Day, a friend of mine went online and started celebrating three of the strong ladies in his, um, in his fair, in his circle. And so he posted this and I screenshotted. You know, I said, personal brand is people's perception about you. I was so happy because now he used to know me as that African lady. And now that I've evolved, now look at what he wrote. Real estate and counseling. You missed that one thing, but yes, it's a journey. Real estate and counseling, God can't stop working on his own. My billionaire friend, Adborn. That's personal branding. Now, people are beginning to understand and have a new perception about my brand. Now, steps to create your personal brand. Be self-aware. Look at who you are, your strengths and weaknesses, and ask yourself a question. What do I want to be known for in the next five years? What, do I, what am I good at? Then take pictures, professional headshots. Yes. And when you do that, go to your social media profiles and be consistent on them. Change all those profile pictures. You can decide to make two of the social media handles have the same and another one have a different one. But make sure you take pictures and professional pictures. What do I look like on Google? I'd like to ask a, ask a question. Are you Googleable? <laughs> do you know that people are actually looking at you on Google? Let me, let me just quickly do, I like practicals. I just so. I want to search myself on Google and see what will come out. So if I'm teaching this, then I should also be a person practicing it, right? All right, so many times I do this. I just go on Google and I type, what is Google saying about me? Wumi, what is Google saying about I'm not the only Omar Umayeni in the world. Okay, before I got my, I was Omar Umayeni. Now I added my maiden name and on, on, online, this is what I am online. If you look at, if you scroll through, I'm not going to scroll through, and if you click on images, look at, this is me. This is me, this is the image you see. If you keep scrolling to page two, page, you will still see me. And I'm not the only Omar Umayeni. This is what personal branding has done and has helped me to achieve. So what I'm saying is, how we Googleable. Build your social media presence. You have to be active on social media. You don't have to be active on all. You can just pick the one that speaks well to you. Okay, I like Instagram and I like TikTok. Oh no, I like LinkedIn because it's professional and I like Facebook. Or I will just do three. So you can do that and be consistent. Have the bio. This is who I have. Let people know that this is the person they can call for the service of this product. Moving on, how do you manage your brand? Do I have to get a brand manager? Mm, if you have the phone, you can go ahead. But you can actually do it yourself, and this is how you can do it. Be proactive. 
promote your accomplishments, be a light. Let people see your light. Nobody should go and hide. Everybody needs to see what God has put in you. And so promote your accomplishment, post it out there. People need to see it. People need to get value from what you have to offer. Dress the path, be strategic, provide value, thought leadership. Give values to people online, post content. When, when they start to interact with it and all see your content often and often, they will see you as a leader in that field. And when they need something in that field, you come to their mind. Look at someone like Miss Techie. Last week in the office, we were debating about it. That, okay, it wasn't even a debate. We said we were going to call, call her to influence for her brand. She has built a personal brand for herself for over the years. And companies, organizations that need a service are coming to her. That's what personal brand does. So these are the steps you to, to, to do yours to start. Be consistent. Personal branding is totally, totally worth it. Really worth it. Now, I'm concluding soon. So some simple tools to just get started. Canva. Yeah. Canva will help you with visuals, your social media banner. What I mean is that for YouTube, there's a banner, there's a size for YouTube, there's a size for Instagram, and Canva gives you those options. For instance, on my YouTube, when I wanted to create my banner, I went to Canva and I said YouTube banner, and I created that. About dot me. So you say, okay, I don't, I don't want to build a website. You can use the site, about dot me. So I went on this site many years ago, and I put who I am and what I do. Now, when people ask about me, sometimes I just send them my about dot me link. It carries what I do and all. And when, you are, when they type your name on Google, About Me also brings it up. LinkedIn is also a good thing that also helps you bring it up. In short, you need a video editing, editing app. If you are someone that wants to be talking on YouTube or you want to be doing some videos and all that, free pick, Pizel, Pizel Bay gives you free pictures. In conclusion, with a personal brand, you will stand out, impact lives, make money, and literally be getting paid to be you is interesting. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you got value. So if you're watching me online on YouTube currently, please drop a comment in the comment section and I'm going to respond to all your comments and your questions. Thank you for watching once again.